Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and welcome to another in the colour swatching series. To watch more, please look at the playlist for colour swatching. Today we're looking at um, comparing four different brands of one of my favourite colours, and that's Cobalt Blue. Cobalt Blue is an inorganic pigment, and it is traditionally made by sintering or heat compacting cobalt blue um, with aluminium oxide at a really high temperature, about 1200 degrees Celsius. Um, it has a really long history as a colouring pigment for all sorts of things, um, not just paint, um, in ceramic glazes, etc. And it's a really prized colour, particularly by artists for skies. I'll be comparing four brands today, um, no reason other than they are the brands that I own. From left to right, Cotman's, Jackson's, Daniel Smith and Winsor & Newton. Cotman on the left is a student quality paint. The other three are professional or artist quality paints, so we'd expect them to be more highly pigmented. So. First of all, let's have a look at each of these tubes and there will be details on them somewhere as to the pigments or the pigment numbers that are used. Now the Cotman, the student quality, it's PB29, which is ultramarine, and PW5, which is a neutral white known as lithopone. Um, so the Cotman isn't actually strictly, it's not a cobalt blue, it's a cobalt blue hue. So let's look at the Jacksons and see what that's made of. Um, you can see that I like this one. Um, it, there's very little left. I need to get some more. I can't really see that. So I have looked it up and the Jacksons is made from PB72, which is Cobalt Zinc Illuminate Blue. So moving along to the Daniel Smith tube. And it's worth noting that this is the smallest tube, and yet I think this was the most expensive one here. Um, so you don't really get much for your money with Daniel Smith. Uh, but it's PB28, which is cobalt blue. And let's move along to the Windsor & Newton. Um, that is another artist quality one made by the same people as Cotman, but this is their artist quality range. And looking at the back, it looks as if they use the same as Daniel Smith's, um, that's PB28, or cobalt blue, um, the traditional cobalt blue. So now on to the swatching stage, um, which is what I always do with my, the colours that I'm comparing here, is swatch them all out so that we can see how highly pigmented they are, whether they are granulating colours or not, um, and just generally how they look. I'm interested to see how this Cotman one swatches out because remember it's made from ultramarine blue and a white and no cobalt is in there at all. So it'd be interesting to see how this compares with the others. I mean, it looks pretty good at the moment. It'll depend how it dries. And of course, this is a student quality color. So it's a cobalt blue hue. It looks quite nice at the moment. And actually, I have just checked on the tube and it does say cobalt blue hue. So they are very clear that it's not a, co a pure cobalt. But this is quite good for people that don't want to have sort of heavy metals like cadmium or cobalts in their paint collections. So as this one at the moment, I'm thinking it looks quite nice, then that would be suitable for people who don't want genuine cobalts. So onto the Jacksons. And straight away, this is much more highly pigmented. I think it's, it's a slightly cooler blue. I'm thinking that the Cotman is beginning to sort of dry and settle. And it is, I can see the ultramarine sort of tinge that's there. And that isn't quite what we would be looking for in a cobalt. But because it's mixed with a bit of white, I think it does a reasonable job, but because it's mixed with white, it's not going to be transparent. It's going to be quite opaque. So swatching out the Jacksons, I think it looks really good. Doing the washi swatch as well, we'll be able to see if we get any granulation. Now onto the Daniel Smiths. 
and that looks well pigmented very similar although a different pigment number to the Jacksons but very similar at the moment that all three look pretty similar um, through the lens of the camera um, in real life there are subtle differences though so the Daniel Smith um, the most expensive one but not really looking any brighter or cleaner or more pigmented than the Jacksons. I'd say the Jacksons is looking the best at the moment. So on to the final testing, which is the Windsor and Newton, the same pigment number as the Daniel Smith. And that looks pretty much the same, maybe slightly weaker. I think I might not have mixed up quite as much um, on the palette. I think that's probably my fault. Not quite enough water in there to get it to sort of spread. and Not quite enough pigment either. So I'll just sort of try that out. And that's looking, they're all looking pretty much of a muchness. We'll do the last washy swatch of the cobalt blue. All are beautiful. I must admit it's my favourite blue. It's a, the classic blue for blue skies especially blue skies in the northern hemisphere. So that's all four swatched out. Um, now I just need to, to leave them to dry, see if there's any drying shift and see how the granulation etc looks. So here they are, no real drying shift and they all look great actually. Um, the Cotman does look a little closer to ultramarine um, but it's still pretty good so great for those that don't want genuine cobalts in their paint collection um, and surprisingly good for a um, student quality paint and the other three are very similar especially on screen but you'll have to take my word for it that the jacksons is the most highly pigmented um, no wonder it's my favorite i must remember to order some more um, daniel smith comes in close behind as the um, second nicest, uh, but that might be because I didn't swatch out the Windsor and Newton quite as well. So I'm gonna go for Jackson's first. I'm going to be controversial and say that Windsor and Newton is second. The reason is that it's got the most granulation in the washi swatch. And then Daniel Smith third. The color's great, but very little granulation. Um, and then my least favorite is the Cotman hue. Um, but I think that comes in at number one for people that don't want to use cobalt. So I'd say it's a really good, very acceptable alternative to the genuine cobalts. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, please let me know if you have any favourite brands or of cobalt blue or thoughts about the colour. And I shall really look forward to reading those in the comments. And check out other videos in the colour swatching playlist. Thanks so much for, for watching and thank you so much to our wonderful Patreons who support this channel and I'll see you again soon and happy swatching and happy painting. Bye.